What's up guys? Today is a good day because I'm going to Puerto Rico. We're gonna be going fishing for tarpon and bonefish all on the fly. So that's gonna be a different. This morning will be the last time I get to go fishing before I leave. And it'll be nice to catch some bass before I leave just because I won't get to do it for a couple couple days and be gone for like six days, so. That'll work. You guys wanna know something really funny? Last time I was here, I did all that work that I just did, and I didn't bring a paddle, and that sucked. But I made the most of it, just fish from the bank. But look at this pond! Oh my God, it's a beautiful morning. This is, this is beautiful. I hear you, bud. Change it up to warm. Because they are not wanting to commit to that right now. Also, shout out to Reef and Ledge for sending me some dope gear to wear because your boy's a ginger. I need to be protected. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. So pretty much the difference between the baits that I'm using right now is one's top water, one is a Lunker Hunt crop frog, which is an awesome frog. Uh, if you guys are interested in top water products, I highly recommend Lunker Hunt. Their frogs are just super realistic. Uh, they have very, very good catch ratios, and they're just a cool company too. But when it comes to catching fish, you never go wrong with a Cinco, especially when you're fishing new water. It's like no matter what you do, they love it. But it's just a good fish locating bait. But that was a Z-Man Cinco. And the thing about Z-Man lures, if you guys don't already know, or they're really, really elastic. Like the material that they use is probably not of this world, but uh, it, it just doesn't rip. And you can catch a lot of fish on the same worm. So that, that makes it nice on your wallet, and that makes it good for the environment too as well because you're not throwing away so many baits. So if you guys are interested in checking out the bait that I'm using, I will link them in the video description below. Number two. On the Cinco, I think they're waking up. Wow. All right, buddy, hang on, calm down. Not a bad fish, a little bigger. You can hailed it. Look at that. Cinco Rumsey Man. I wonder if we're getting into some beds over here. There might be some beds along the side. Not a bad fish. Stud. You're gonna grow up to be one. Thanks, man. Well, we only got one GoPro working right now, guys, so we're just gonna roll with it. Number three, not a big one, but hey, he was out deep and he came back and barely hooked him. All right, biggest fish of the day, just kidding. That is the smallest fish of the day. That's the third fish that I caught on the same Cinco. And I used the Cinco before I came here. This was already on a, this was already on a hook. Caught fish on it last night. That's, that's the fourth fish. I remember I put this Cinco on last night. That's, Four fish that I've caught on the same Cinco. That, that doesn't ever happen. Z-Man, you're onto something. Hi! I'm traction. You with me. I'm doing good. 
Jumpy Lawless? Yeah. I, you were my uh, high school officer at one point. What's your name? Trevor. Trevor. Trevor, how oh, uh, That's a long time ago. Yeah. What's all this? Um, <laughs> right now you're uh, Trevor, real quick, before we go any further, do you have any weapons on you? Because I know, obviously you have the concern. No, it's in my car. Okay, okay. Not, nothing on you though. No. Okay, all right. I don't um, even carry it. Okay. Big fast, big fast catches. I, I just film with my uh, YouTube channel and make, uh, just do filming and uh, it's I'm a cinematographer by trade. I shoot weddings, so on my spare time I just fish a lot and I uh, film and uh, basically uh, put together videos for YouTube. Okay. Um, obviously you have to cross two fences. Yeah. Okay. Um, which is kind of a red flag. Yeah, I know. I, there's no signs. And I, I, I've never, I've never had a problem fishing. I've been honestly been fishing here for two or three years, on and off. Uh, just I don't normally bring the kayak, and I don't normally have to park uh, down there and all that stuff. But I've never had a problem. I'm catch and release. I pick up all my trash, and I, I, I seriously just appreciate a really nice fishery because there's no signs, and I. Anytime a, uh, a property is fenced, it, the curtilage is entirely fenced, it's not required to be posted, okay? Okay. Um, and the fact that you cross two, that's, that's, that's kind of a given, okay? Um, when you cross this fence, this whole piece is all part of Deseret Ranch property. Okay. okay? This is, this right here that you're on is not Deseret, but you had to come through Deseret to get to it. Okay? Understandable. So, long story short, you can't come in here. Okay. Okay. I will not come back in here. You have my word. Okay. Um, and I apologize to uh, this man if this is his property. Yeah, this is uh, head of Deseret Security. Um, so, yeah, he actually he saw the car and, and, and caught a glimpse of you, I guess, walking in. But uh, I was just down the road with the car. So. I understand, yeah. Here, so. um, yeah, go ahead. If you would just grab your gear. Yeah, absolutely. Just the kayak? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. just if you yeah, just grab it up. Right here on the side. It's FDOT. I actually talked to a high roll patrol officer and I asked him, I'm like, you know, what are the chances of me getting in trouble for hopping these fences? He's like, he's like, honestly, if they're not posted, but he's like, you are on FDOT state land. But he's like, as far as those fences are there, they're just there to keep kids out and people from, uh, um, you know, doing illegal dumping and all that good stuff. Why would the state of Florida be mad that I'm fishing when I pay for a Florida state license to fish on a piece of property that they own? It's not the fact that you're fishing on state property, it's the fact that you're fishing on state property. Okay, so, so what about any of these other ponds? Just, just, to, uh, you know, just in case I ever have to have this issue again. If you have to hop a fence, chances are you're not supposed to be there. If you can get to a waterway or a pond that's not fenced in, these canals, then that's fine. Let's let it go. Let's let it go. It's literally just a beater for this reason right here. How long has it been? It's been a long time. Uh, shit, we just had our 10 year reunion. Did you? So, you've been a law officer for how many years? I retired in 2014, yeah, went to do some day work with Cowboy, making good money, and, and uh, what's going to happen right now, they're going to probably issue a notice to appear, like getting a ticket. Okay. You see a judge and let him know, hey, this is what's going on. Never even turn his head. And, uh, don't do it again. Yeah, don't do it again. And uh, it's just like getting a ticket, you know, for trespassing. They can cost you from $1 to $5, $500, and it costs you 30 days a day. It's no matter what a misdemeanor ticket would be. It's married, kids, anything? Uh, no, man. I just uh, just do weddings and all. Do that. weddings and a fish. That's good. That's what I like to do. I put a lot of time into you do, bedding. Do you just do freshwater fishing or any salt? I do fly fishing for redfish. Over there, off of uh, uh, Mosquito Lagoon. Mosquito, well, well, they say that's the best place to go for reds. You catch any decent fishing at home? Honestly, I haven't caught anything bigger than three pounds. Not in that one. But I, 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 I believe that I've lost a fish that was probably four or five. They're healthy too. Like, they, they just have a good cycle, you know. And that's like one of the things that 
why I don't like fish in public waters because you got people keeping fish and you know practicing catch and release is very important for our fisheries. And Play and release is the best part. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. But bass, ugh. Yeah. Yeah. As long as I keep letting them go, I guess you'll be able to keep catching. What's up, man? You'll be trespassing on the property, so don't come anywhere on Deseret property again, okay? Okay. And uh, they'll keep this on the file and everything unless you become a, some, I don't know, some... Pay $10,000 $10, to yeah. join a hunting club? Yeah, to a club member. Okay. Yeah, that'd be the only way. So as long as I pay $10,000, I can fish there? <laughs> no. no. You're on certain areas. This is certain areas you. you go to. Right, it's the, the, the certain units. Hey, man, I, I apologize, dude. Hey, that's... I, I wasn't trying to do anything besides just have some fun, man. This does not mean you're good. It means I agree to appear at the time and place. You'll be contacting this number right here. Okay. Sorry, guys. Our hands are sort of tied in this room. This is what it is. Well, I might have got in trouble. It's not necessarily saying it's a good idea to hop fences, but I fished that pond a lot and I caught some big fish out of there. And it was worth it. But it is what it is. You live and learn. I definitely would not do it again, though. There's no fun in life. You're not allowed to fish here. Really, bro? just fishing dude and it's really sad man that people just don't let you have a good time in life because they are still selfish stingy you don't have to be a stingy person or a rude person As a matter of fact i'm pretty sure that's the only reason why i did not get in trouble was because all right then you get taken to jail because i was cool and i knew that and i knew i was in the wrong and i just uh was cool about it and I, that goes to show you that it really depends on how you handle the situation is how the outcome of the situation is going to be. You can't fight with somebody that doesn't want to fight. And in that case, I didn't want to fight. I knew I was wrong. I kept my cool and I did not go to jail. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Uh, it's still going to be a good day. I'm not going to let it ruin my day. Um, I'm actually still going to Puerto Rico, so I have to look forward to. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give me a sub. Until next time, sidelines.